Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me today. I'm Lorna Schumann with the Illinois State Museum. Did you know that Illinois has six habitats? But what is a habitat? That's right, it's a place where animals live, but it's also a place where plants live. And today we're gonna to talk about a habitat that if I say the word, you have an image that comes to mind, the forest or woodland. What are some of the things that you might see in a woodland or forest habitat? Trees, most definitely. And part of that is a characteristic or things that help us tell it apart from other habitats that we know. So when we look over here at my diorama, our habitat, which is a recreation of an actual forest habitat, what are some of the things that you notice? So you see the trees, lots of leaves, and some bushes in through there. Do you see any animals? Yes, I think you can see them. But what other type of things might you find in this habitat? We're going to spend some time with Dr. Meredith Mahoney. She is a person here at the museum who actually studies animals, and she's going to help us understand a little bit more about a forest or woodland habitat. Hi, Lorna. Hi, Meredith. How are you today? I'm doing all right. How are you? I am great, thank you. You know, we're really trying to understand a little bit more about forest and woodland habitats mm -hmm. and the type of animals that live there. Could you help us out? Oh, sure. I'd be happy to. So animals that live in forests are using a lot of the plants, especially the trees that live there for their food, but also as places where they, they nest or live in the forest. So for example, we have white-tailed deer. They eat all sorts of plants in the forest, almost anything it goes for white-tailed deer to eat. There's also lots of birds that live in the forest. You get lots of little birds like sparrows and warblers. They migrate through Illinois and some of them will stop in the forest and just rest there before they keep moving as part of their migration. Others will stay and that's where they nest for the, that part of the year. We also have bigger birds like wild turkeys. Turkeys will eat insects and leaves and berries during parts of the year. And then in the fall, when the trees make their nuts and seeds, the turkeys will eat those as well. Another bird that lives in the forest and will nest there is the great horned owl. And they put their nests up in trees, sometimes pretty high up and it can be hard to see them. We also have insects like butterflies in the forest. So butterflies, they use the trees and other plants there as food for their caterpillars and then the adults will drink the nectar from the flowers in the springtime, especially. There's also reptiles that live in the forest. We have box turtles and there's green snakes. Green snakes eat insects as they climb through the tree, they pick them off the leaves. Box turtles eat insects, but they eat lots of other stuff too. They eat mushrooms, berries, uh, leaves, and things like that. Meredith, thank you so much for telling us that today. Do any of the animals that you've talked about today also live in other habitats? Well, sure, the birds are doing that. Some of them are gonna move into other parts of the state and they only pause in the forest, but also the white-tailed deer, they live all over the place in the state and sometimes even in people's backyards. Thank you so much, Meredith. I appreciate your time today. And thank you for joining us. Take care.